fam it's your girl free tv and i'm back again with another video for the channel guys i just woke up good morning to you all um the whole of the week here yeah, i've been busy writing midterms and all that so i didn't get any time to film this like content idea i had i recorded a video i think my previous video you guys asked that i should tell you about like the story about the contraceptive thing as you can see by the title and I didn't get much time this morning i woke up and i realized i'm supposed to record a video like and post today so i'm like okay let me just hurry up get up and brush my teeth and do something and record a video so as you can see by the title i'm telling you <laughs> i'm exposing myself okay well i believe this will educate some people this will um tell some people like give an information out there yes because it's a personal experience i'm about to share with you guys so stay tuned and let's hop into the video okay so this is how it started i think many years ago like let me see um let me say four or five years ago yeah there, yeah four years ago yeah i was in a relationship by then yeah and you know contraceptives you know what they are used for you take it so that you don't get pregnant and you also take it so that like when the person like you know i, I hope you get me <laughs> so that you don't let me just say so that you don't get pregnant okay so i once did the thing okay and then mistakenly there was no like you know and it had to be <laughs> I believe you guys understand me. YouTube doesn't permit that something should be mentioned. So that is why I'm careful about like my choice of words. So um the thing happened and then if I don't take contraceptive, like it will lead to pregnancy because like obviously you know what happens if someone says I'm I'm about getting pregnant. So and then I asked him if like it went that way, he said yes, and I'm like, okay, so what do we do? And then it means we have to get a contraceptive. If not, I'm not ready for a child. We are both not ready for a child. So I went to the pharmacy and then I got this contraceptive, which I'll mention the name because I don't want to spoil anybody's like market and all that. And one thing I want to say is our bodies are different. The ladies, this might be good for somebody and might not be good for the other. So I can't say this particular drug is not good. Maybe it wasn't good for me, but a different one might be good for me. Yeah. So we went and then I purchased this um this contraceptive, which I as I said I'll mention the name, and I took it. Okay, so I took it and then um I'm supposed you know the monthly cycle is supposed to be like twenty eight days. Mine is twenty eight days, and then let's say I had it today and in two weeks time, you see um this one is like I'm teaching here. So uh, from the first to the tenth day, it's like you're free. But then the first to the fifth or sixth, you might be menstruating. Then the rest of the four or five, you are free to like do the thing without getting pregnant. So that was the time I didn't do it. From ten to seventeen, for me, that's my cycle. From ten to seventeen, when you do it, that's when I'm ovulating. And then it means when I do it and there's a release, I'll I'll get pregnant. Okay. So I did it within those times, and then there was so i had to and then um i think i did it like the 12th day yeah i think and then mistakenly there was eh you understand so i had to take a contraceptive then i took it when i took it i'm supposed to have like my period like on the 28th day sometimes it comes a bit earlier depending some plus one or minus one 27th or either 29th it depends but then this time around, around the 16th day, it came. I was just lying there, all of a sudden, it just came. And I'm like, like, what happened? It says the contraceptive. Like, it, it, it changed my cycle totally. I don't know. I just saw, like, it's coming. Yeah. And I believe my system is very weak. Like, it's this weak system, which, like external drug and something really has effect on it yeah because recently uh, in my pregnancy video you heard my mom say um you called me that you were bleeding you were bleeding i took some medicine um, i i got hurt under my feet i went to the um 
my, the pharmacy or the, the clinic and they gave me some medicine. I took the medicine and when my period came, I was flowing very heavily. So like this external drugs, they really have effect on my, on my cycle, like on how I flow and all that. So I'm very careful. So I don't know about others. I believe some people will relate. If you're a lady and watching this video or you're a guy and you've gotten a contraceptive for your girlfriend and it's altered her cycle, you can comment down below. Maybe I'm the only one, maybe I'm not the only one. If you can relate, comment down below and let me see. And let me know that I'm not the only one because I was scared. When I when I saw that it came like a bit earlier, I was very scared. I tried it the second time and it came again. So since then, I'm like, nah. But then now, there's nothing like taking contraceptive because I don't even do it. I don't even do that. Do. <laughs> if you do it, that's when you're scared that you get pregnant. So I feel like if you're not there yet, you can just abstain to avoid any other, like you thinking you're pregnant, you going in for contraceptive, which will alter your cycle. And if these things, I think, persist, I believe they will have an effect on your, like you bearing a child. If you keep on taking contraceptive, if you keep on taking this external things to... Um, to stop you from getting pregnant. I believe they will, they will have an effect when you want to give birth one day. I'm not a doctor or I'm not a nurse. But then, me myself, I get scared when like I have complications. Because I'm not the type who have complications. I flow like that. But then if an external drug enters my system, then I see changes. Yeah. So I think the best way is to just abstain. Or if you want to do it, you do it in your safe period. Yeah. But then me, mine is... I think from 1st to 10th is free. From 10th to 17th, you are ovulating. Then from 17th to 28th, you are free. Yeah, that is mine. It depends on everybody. Some people, I learned some people do this in their palm. Like some people have their menstruation in their palm where the blood is all over their palm. I don't know. Their palm gets swollen. They can't even touch anything. If you are one of them, you can comment down below. Yeah, everybody and how they do this. But then, yeah. As you have heard it's really 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 altered my cycle okay so i don't know what to say this brings us to the end of the video i hope you enjoyed this one it's just a story time me telling you that this particular contraceptive altered it. maybe you would like to confirm if you would like to confirm the particular contraceptive you can follow me on instagram that's pretty me underscore six six i'm on twitter as pretty me underscore me and snap as mavis underscore dakuji they are all in the description you can go follow me and then maybe you can talk about it more then maybe you can confirm and maybe you could also recommend a better one for me yeah through the interaction okay so thank you if you watched up to this far thank you for sticking with me see you in my next video bye bye